Now that Chen had been defeated, Lu Fan approached the princess, extended his hand to one side and prepared to hit her. She started to back away and fell to the ground. While she had one hand resting on it, she extended the other towards Lu Fan's direction to indicate him not to come closer. With a look full of terror, she asked him what he wanted to do with her. She asked him not to be so arrogant since her brother was the new number one in the Taizy realm. If Lu Fan dared to hit her then her brother would come and make him pay double. Lu Fan started to get tired of her. He clenched his fist tightly, began to look at the ground and gave her a strong slap on the face, causing her body to be thrown backward. She closed her eye and began to cry with the other one. She couldn't believe that this had really just happened. He turned his head back and with a serious look told her that he was going to be waiting for her brother. The princess fell to the ground, while with one hand she was holding the magic staff. She put the other hand on top of her face where she had the wound and remained silent. The spectators were in shock as they did not know what was happening to Lu Fan. He had won but still humiliated his opponent in this way. They could not believe that he had done this to such an adorable girl. While Lu Fan had one hand inside his pocket, he grabbed the dagger with the other, turned his back on her and while walking away mocked her saying that he didn't know if her brother really had the ability to counterattack. The spectators did not know who the princess was nor why she was giving orders to Chen who had won many consecutive fights. According to them, she was very arrogant. At the top of the stadium were Zhao and Professor Gu observing and casting all the fights. She took the microphone with her hand, approached a bit, and asked everyone to remain silent. Zhao also approached. He took the microphone with his hand, started to stare at Lu Fan and remained silently thinking. He took the microphone and with a calm voice announced that the fight was over and that Lu Fan's team was the winner. Lu Fan and Jianying started to look at Zhao with a surprised look and stood still. After announcing the winner, Zhao started staring at Professor Gu and gave her the order to make Lu Fan come immediately to his office. While Lu Fan and Jianying were in the arena, Zhao turned his back on them and as he was walking away, he started looking at the ground and asked her to continue preparing for the next fight. She began to look at him with a calm gaze and responded with an understood. Some time later, Lu Fan went to Zhao's office. He put his arms behind his back and explained that he had thought the Jin family had advanced the national test, which had made Lu Fan quite angry. Mr. Kin wanted him to find out everything that had happened between the princess and him. Lu Fan, who was standing in front of the table, remained calm and explained that to resolve personal grudges in the arena, it was inevitable to provoke criticism behind her back. Zhao didn't even turn around, he kept looking at the closets. Lu Fan approached him, extended his hand to one side and with a calm look added that he had also personally experienced Chen's disappointment, so he knew very well how she was taking advantage of him. While Zhao had one hand behind his back, he took out a tablet with the other, started to extend it towards him and told him that it was not the time to talk about this. The tablet was the reason why he had called him, the director and he had already seen Lu Fan's performance so now he could withdraw from the evaluation for new students. While a drop of sweat was falling from his cheek, with a confused look he asked Zhao why he wanted him to leave the evaluation and also asked if perhaps he hadn't liked his performance a moment ago. Zhao handed him the tablet, closed his eyes and with a pleasant smile, explained that it was quite the opposite. When he had cast the two spells in draconic language, both the director and Zhao felt relieved since he was going to participate in the national test. The tablet contained information about a high-level secret realm that the academy had found for him through the Secret Realms Hunters Guild. Lu Fan grabbed the tablet with one hand and started touching the screen with the other. The first realm was called Coral Abyss of level 45. The difficulty was fear, the limit of people was 2, and the initial price was 35 million dragon coins. The second realm was called Nocturnal Burning Plane of level 50. The difficulty was nightmare, the limit of people was 4, and the initial price was 765 million dragon coins. He began to read the information and realized that the secret hunters, just like the material hunters, had a guild that dominated the resources. The secret hunters obtained high rewards by exploring or entering various secret realms. Zhao approached him, extended his hand to one side and with a smile, explained that the secret hunters used an auction method at a high price. They chose which one, and the school went to the guild to bid for it. Lu Fan who was holding the tablet with one hand and reading the information, started looking at Zhao and he explained that the initial price was too high. Zhao started to touch his glasses using his hand and explained that the Longdu Academy never took the country's tests lightly. The resources they had promised, Lu Fan was going to be able to get them. Several seconds later, Lu Fan found something that caught his attention quite a bit. He couldn't help but be left open mouth. Seeing his expression, Zhao approached him and with a surprised look asked if he had found a secret realm he liked. 
In response, Lu Fan showed him the tablet. He had selected the secret realm called Flying Dragon Cemetery level 55 with a nightmare difficulty. The limit of people was more than two, and the initial price was 1.3756 million. He started to look at Zhao and with a smile explained that he was sure and wanted to choose this secret realm. The next day in the second round of new student evaluation, Professor Gu informed everyone that the first match of today's second round was between Lu Fan's team against Zhang Feng and Zhu Jing's team number three. Zhao, who was sitting next to her, clasped his hands and remained silent. Just before she could finish speaking, Zhao put his hand in front of her indicating that she should stop. Seeing this, she couldn't help but feel somewhat confused and start sweating. He began to look at the students and informed them that Lu Fan's and Jia Ying's team were going to withdraw from the competition, so they were going to repair the matches. Upon hearing this, the students couldn't help but be in shock. They didn't know if Lu Fan had withdrawn from the competition. Some of them had even come specifically to see him. One of them began to wonder if Lu Fan had withdrawn from the competition due to the accident. But another student denied this theory. Among the audience were also Zio Man and Kin Q. She crossed her arms and with a sincere look told her that these students wouldn't stop talking and were very annoying. Kin Q, who was sitting next to her, turned her head towards her and with a calm look asked her not to pay attention to the nonsense they were saying. According to her, Lu Fan and Jianying should have already entered the secret realm. At the same time in the secret realm called Flying Dragon Cemetery, they went into the dense forest of giant trees. He closed his eyes and apologized to her because by teaming up with him, she had not been able to continue in the competition. Jianying, who was walking in front of him, put her hands behind her back, closed her eyes and explained to him that the school administration had said they could get a spot in the national test as well as receive 10k points so it wasn't necessary to apologize. Lu Fan, who was walking behind her, put both hands in his pants pockets, started looking at her and couldn't help but start smiling. She turned her back to Lu Fan and while touching her elbow with her hand, thanked him because she had been able to come to such a strange place like this. She decided to give all the rewards from the secret realm to Lu Fan. For her, the experience was more than enough. While the two of them were conversing, a red-haired boy who was sitting on a tree branch caught their attention. Upon hearing his voice, Lu Fan and Jian Ying started to look up and upon seeing this, they couldn't help but be shocked. Lu Fan moved a little closer, the man jumped down, supporting himself with one hand and one knee on the ground, landing successfully without any injury. He stood up, and while he had one hand resting on his waist, he made the thumbs up sign with the other hand and with a smile introduced himself as the secret realm's hunter called Black Rat. Lu Fan wore a badge pinned to his chest. He approached him, started pointing at the badge using his finger and with a serious look introduced himself as a student of Longu Academy. He didn't know if he was the one who would guide them to the entrance of the cemetery. Black Rat put his hand under his chin and began staring intently at his badge. While he had one hand resting on his waist, he turned around, extended the other hand towards the sky. Now that they had noticed his presence, he asked them to follow him since his task would end when he led them to the portal's entrance. He turned his back on them, slightly turned his head towards them and started to smile. He knew that those from the Longdu Academy were very rich. He didn't know if the two of them would be able to film inside the secret realm. While Lu Fan had one hand in his pocket, he began to point backward with the thumb of his other hand, and revealed to them that he was level 25 and she was level 24. Black Rat began to look at them with a confused look and couldn't help but panic. He couldn't believe that Lu Fan was level 25 and Jian Ying was level 24. He revealed to them that this was a level 55 secret realm with nightmare difficulty. He put one hand on his waist, took out the phone with the other, and while navigating through the system, decided to contact Longdu Academy to confirm this since according to him it must be a mistake. Sending two people who hadn't done the second transfer was like sending them to their death. Lu Fan approached him and with a calm voice told him that it was not necessary to waste time on this. Black Rat was near a large tree. At that moment, someone cut the tree. Upon noticing this, his expression changed drastically. He couldn't help but start sweating and thought that this wasn't good. The trunk of the tree started to detach and began to fall towards the ground. The trunk of the giant tree fell to the ground, crushing everything in its path. Lu Fan clenched a fist tightly. With the other he grabbed Jian Ying by the wrist and they started running to avoid being crushed by the trunk. Lu Fan decided not to stand idly by. With a serious look, he clenched his teeth tightly and used the ability called the Blue Dragon King, causing powerful thunders to appear around his body. A giant monster in the shape of a bird appeared in the sky and prepared to attack. It opened its mouth, extended its wings to the sides and began to roar. While Lu Fan's hand was surrounded by thunder, 
he reached out to the beast and used the skill called Roar, which allowed him to release a thunder impact forward, causing great damage and a paralyzing effect. Subsequent attacks would add 20 layers of electro attribute, decreasing one layer per attack. There was a 20% chance of paralyzing the enemy target. Black Rat started looking to one side and seeing how powerful his skill was, he couldn't help but be in shock. He didn't know what this skill was or if Lu Fan was really just level 25. This beast was called Green Winged Dragon Hawk and it was level 50. Lu Fan's attack was so powerful that in a matter of seconds, it fell to the ground, opened its mouth and lost its life. While his hand was surrounded by thunder, he began to look at the black rat and with a smile explained that this level of monsters were nothing for them, so he asked him to take them to the nearest entrance. Jianying who was standing next to him, crossed her arms, started observing the beast's corpse and couldn't help but start smiling. This is the end of the video, if you guys want to see the next part, then don't forget to subscribe and like the video.